Welcome back to White Mountains today. I think it's time to talk fall foliage with our three to try. And today's three to try is three easy places to see fall color in spectacular fashion. Someone I think will know these answers is you, right? Yes, I have been kind of studying fall foliage and searching out vantage points for over a quarter of a century now, okay. and I have some ideas. Now, as we're recording this, it is mid-September. Foliage is just starting to get going uh, mm -hmm. in the northern notches. Everybody wants to know when is peak foliage, and it's been pretty consistent the last several years where uh, it's been usually the second week of October, right around Columbus weekend, and it's been somewhat uniform, I think, over the White Mountains over the last couple of years, but that's not always the case. Okay. Sometimes, uh, it does peak a little bit earlier the further north and the further west you go, and that might be the case this year with all the rain that we've been having. So, in general, peak does spread from northwest to southeast, and the place you'll find it first, and some of the more advanced colors first, mm -hmm. are in the north, the notches. So, Pinkham Notch, Crawford Notch, for example, and north of Mount Washington. So, what we have now are three places you want to check out if you're here before peak, or if you want to get a, a find peak first, these three places give you the best opportunity and they're super easy walks and let you enjoy a nice uh, nature foliage walk. So, okay. we're gonna start off in Pinkham Notch, New Hampshire at Great Glen Trails. I was just there this past weekend. Foliage was just starting to get going with a few early colors, a few early trees showing their signs of, of color. Uh, but it is, every time I go there, I forget how wonderful it is. First of all, they have these beautiful uh, graded gravel carriage roads. It's like walking through Acadia National Park, so mm -hmm. super easy travel. Uh, and you have the entire northern presidential range just surrounding you. And we have a, to give you a taste of what it's going to look like come fall time, this picture that we're showing on the screen right now shows Glen Pond, and you can just see some of the, just the beautiful orange and, oranges and reds that just mm. erupt on a, a bright sunny day. Mm. Quick, quick tip, one of the things that can determine how beautiful fall foliage is, is something as simple as the day's lighting, right? So oh. if you, my, my favorite is to have the sun a little bit behind the you know the trees so the sun is filtering through it makes them glow a little bit better mm -hmm. and so that time is usually either early in the day like at dawn or or morning or late in the day towards sunset i think at great glen you are probably better off a little bit later in the day mm -hmm. because at sunrise and dawn the sun will come up over the mountains and just illuminate kind of the tops of the presidential range while the rest of it kind of sits in the valley but yeah. if you wait a little bit longer I don't know, maybe like mid-afternoon or so, the sun's going to be above Mount Washington. It's kind of stream through those oh, wow. reds, oranges, and yellows and just make everything glow. So mm -hmm. that's a little tip. That's one spot. Second cool. spot is, uh, are you getting ready? Are you getting excited to go see foliage? Of course I am, yes. <laughs> I, <laughs> I want, want you to, to check these out. <laughs> Second spot, we're going to go through Crawford Notch and go to Crawford Notch State Park. Uh, you can park right at the Willie House site, which is an ice cream shop. It's also a site. It's kind of, uh, it's a weird irony because it's a very idyllic spot. You can buy ice cream there. It's also home to one of the greatest uh, tragedies ever in New Hampshire pioneer uh, folklore where the Willie family uh, was crushed under a landslide in oh, the no. early 1800s. Um, but now you can buy ice cream there and uh, take the kids fishing in the fishing pond across the street. But it's an historical site, a wonderful place to visit. Mm -hmm. Around the pond, there are just some nature trails. And if you just go out a little bit there, it affords you this amazing view right up into Crawford Notch of uh, Mount Willard mm -hmm. and uh, the Frankenstein Trestle. It is just a, it's a, a beautiful spot. And again, you'll see some early colors there. It'll peak in the notch before it peaks in the towns like uh, Lincoln and North Conway. So if you're here a little bit before what everybody else is describing as peak, head up into the notch. The third mm. spot that gets color okay. very early because it is north and west in the White Mountains is um, the, Mount, the Omni Mount Washington Resort at Bretton Woods. Oh, and that, yes. they always seem to have, first of all, they have the right trees. Because obviously okay, yeah. you, you need a northern hardwood forest, birches, maples, beaches, maybe, maybe some oaks. Um, ash, mm. things like that, to 
to really have those colors. If it's a, obviously a coniferous forest, you're not gonna find those colors. And right around the hotel, there's just, and on the Bretton Woods slopes themselves, they just have this beautiful canopy that just turns the brightest, most vivid hues in the fall. They have canopy tours, which affords these beautiful views. But even if you just go to the hotel, take a walk around the property, you will see the Presidential Mountain Range. You'll see the Bretton Woods Ski Resort. Um, you can take a walk along, you know, rivers. If you actually go back onto the cross-country ski trails, you can go mountain biking there or, or take a walk. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously they have a, a 27 holes of golf there too. So if you yes, want a, do. a really <laughs> scenic <laughs> round of golf, that's the place to go. So yeah. there you go. Three places where the color comes early mm -hmm. and you can see spectacular views with just a, a very easy walk. You don't have to hike three miles up, um, you know, jagged, yeah. trails to, <laughs> accessible to, everyone. to find these views. They're, they're accessible to everyone. Yeah. So there's Incredible. your three to try. Yeah. And stay tuned because we will have foliage updates throughout the season as we track the progress of peak foliage across the White Mountains.